Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Borgesh is here. I don't know what I can talk about because when I was at Epic, I saw stuff. So I don't know if I can tell you what I saw because it's different from what is revealed here. So, oh, Borgesh, she is incredible. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome ladies and gentlemen to a passionate review video. I am Silfin. New hero reveal for Morgesh version 38.6. 30, 39, I guess, isn't it? 39, something like that anyways. So there is so much here in this video. Not only is Morgesh revealed, but we got new visual updates that is also apparent here in the uh, in the video and a new jungle layout. So we are talking about the Morgash, we're talking about the jungle, uh, the jungle updates and the visual updates. So huge, huge video here and uh, it's all coming down to Morgash. How bad ass is that? Morgash, holy God. Wow. So guys, we'll watch the, uh, we'll, we'll first look at her, had her stuff here. And then we'll go into the overview because then we'll talk about her abilities there and uh, also all the visual stuff and the jungle stuff there. So more Gash guys is corruption and growth is a close range caster who uses her abilities to deal consistent damage to her enemies, get them low and assassinate the personification of a drowned forest. She is traveling to Agora in pursuit of the Fae. So really, really cool. The close range caster. Her abilities seem like normal caster, maybe a little bit a little bit closer, but her basic attack is a closer ranged attack, kind of like Yin, how she has a, an extended melee range. She's kind of like a reduced ranged melee attack. So it, uh, you'll, you'll see in the overview video, it's really quite interesting. Um, because she has some abilities there that uh, that kind of goes along with that as well. Personification of a drowned forest that is so awesome. Just kind of like that like really interesting. Oh, it's, it's just really cool. And uh, you know, there is some lore there that we're going to talk about as well. Try to get uh, some insights into there. So we have her right mouse button is Mark. Mark as she marks the target, dealing damage and turning her doll into the shape of the targeted hero. So there's a little doll that's hanging from her waist, um, or that's what, at least was that epic? Uh, <laughs> Anyways, a doll turns into the uh, person that she uh, marks. <laughs> Targets stay marked until a new hero is, cho is chosen or the marked target dies. So this does deal damage, and it's a nice poke ability. You'll see it's uh, it's just gonna be a nice poke ability, especially if you're in the mid lane. That will be what you use to poke down the enemy, etc., etc. That, and then the rest is gonna come into play. This mark is a large part of her of, of her kit, as you'll see. Hive is her Q square. A hive of insects is thrown, exploding into an AOE damage over time, and applying a slow with every instance of damage. The tick seems to be applied um, fairly, like it, it, there's, there's a lot, like every two seconds, like it's a long time between these ticks, but that slow happens, happens um, at those ticks. So you'll see again in, in the video, very, very interesting um, that it's, I, it does look like a fairly small AOE, but I mean, it's just another thing that kind of adds up uh, to, to Morgish's kit. Swarm is her E a circle ability. Morgesh transforms into a swarm of insects, granting her movement speed and the ability to pass through enemies. When passing through enemies, you deal damage and gain health regeneration. The more, the more enemies and minions that you pass through, you gain stacks of health regen. Again, this ability was different when I was at I don't know if I can talk about it. Uh, because... Yeah, it's, yeah. So anyways, it's a really, really cool. Um, that's going to be absolutely huge for being blo body blocked, for comboing this with every, every one of her other abilities, etc. 
etc. Really, really cool. And it's going to obviously help with her sustain as well, uh, just because she'll be able to live, right? Gain some movement speed, get away, close the gap because of because of her melee, melee-ish, close range nature. Very interesting. It's a very key part of her ability, just kind of of her kit, just like everything else. Now, Curse is her ultimate ability. Summons a deadly swarm of insects in the shape of like Morgesh, kind of like that. Um, in Morgesh's image, okay, there you go. I could have just read that. To stab the most recent marked target. It's a global ultimate. No matter where somebody is, this ultimate attacks them. So you can kind of get the sense that, well, she's she's kind of an assassin. She's kind of an assassin. Mark mark, uh, mark an enemy, you know, throw some hives on them, adding into that AoE, your basic attacks. Um, your your mark also empowers your mark also empowers your hive. So if you hive a marked target, it deals more damage for longer. So you mark a target, you throw your hive on them, you 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 know you uh, you you throw some basic attacks on them, and then you swarm to kind of go through them, move move around them, deal some damage, reposition, be all sneaky, and then you finish them off with an ultimate. So there's kind of like a very interesting thing going on, and uh, she's gonna be one. Beast. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch this Morgesh overview here uh, because, oh, it's awesome. Here we go. First Ganker Elusive Seizure. Morgesh is the personification of a drowned forest, traveling to Agora in pursuit of the Fae. A close range caster, Morgesh uses her abilities to keep consistent damage on her enemies and whittle them down in order to assassinate them. Focus on buying cards that increase your damage and mana. Swarm will transform Morgesh's body into a swarm of insects. During this time, you'll gain a burst of move speed. And if you pass through enemies, you will deal damage and gain a stack of health regen. This is a powerful ability that will allow you to engage, disengage, and reposition in team fights. Hive will throw a bug hive to a target location. Enemies will suffer damage over time and will be slowed with every tick of damage. And the effect will last even longer if an enemy has been marked. Mark will deal damage and steal the very essence of your enemy, creating a doll of your target that Morgesh will carry around. Marked targets stay marked until either they die, Morgesh dies, or a new target is chosen to suffer her wrath. Mark has a low cooldown, so use it in lane to harass your enemy and get them low enough to use your ultimate, Curse. Curse summons a deadly swarm of insects in Morgesh's image to stab whomever was hit by Mark most recently. Curse is a global ultimate, so there is nowhere to hide. Morgesh is a close range caster, so positioning is very important. But if you try to get too close, it could result in your death. Mark and Curse are very versatile, and can be used before a fight to weaken an enemy carry, giving your team an edge. Or, you can steal a key target's essence and use it to assassinate them as they try to escape. Use the ancient magic of a drowned forest to bedevil your enemies as Morgesh. Oh, jeez! Absolutely amazing, guys. And then now we talk about it. So, um, you know, what what do we say guys uh, you can see that the mark is going to be really well you can see that she is a you know a pseudo ranged caster like a pseudo melee ranged weird sort of reduced uh basic attack range but her abilities seem her abilities seem fairly normal like you can see that 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 mark is, is fairly far uh, the hive like so you can see there like her her basic attack almost was was hitting that that murdoch from a fairly long 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 ways away so like here this basic attack there is pretty much ranged isn't it um and you can see there that the hive is empowered by your mark ability so if you mark somebody which seems to be a nice far like a pretty far range as well like not like a gideon uh cosmic cosmic rift um but 
you can see it's fairly close. So it's, it's very, 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 very interesting. If you mark a target for some good harassment into, again, your ultimate, which you have to mark a target and then use your ultimate, um, you can actually see right there, if we go back just a moment there, look at this Grux. There's actually a Grux here on the on her waist that is that is so so cool they i'm very glad that they did that did do that so you can actually see who is um who is on your waist who is marked you can actually visually see it uh down down there on her waist really 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 cool um again here you can see that she is still a she is still a caster so you're gonna have to be really careful with um you know positioning and not being too aggressive you're gonna really have to pay attention to her uh to to her to her pass through ability where she where she you know moves through targets builds up health regeneration that's going to be really really key for her she's she's gonna have her rotation she definitely seems like more kind of an, an assassin-y sort of caster where she needs to do her rotation she needs to do her thing but you, you, or j just to stay alive she she just needs to do her thing right or else you know she because she's melee range she's gonna go in she's gonna probably take quite a bit of damage because of that um and then you need to use your your, your swarm to get uh, you know to, to get all, all, all those health regen stacks or whatever that ability is called so it's really really interesting um, she she looks really really cool really deadly and I'm really excited to see how she plays now uh, you know that like another global ultimate but it's kind of tied to her mark I don't know she, she she's she's gonna be really really interesting um, I like that she's kind of a completely different character design kit design it's so cool with the kind of kind of a poison effect but it's not poison uh, at least at least it's not saying that so she looks really really leggy um, and it's just it's just absolutely amazing so it's gonna be really interesting to see how what she turns into now let's talk about this graphical update look at the grass look at the the um the 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 walls here look at this beautiful grass it looks fantastic i'm pretty sure that the walls look different as well those well i they've been changed because of the layout of the uh of the of the jungle but um the grass is starting to come in i don't know if that's going to be on ps4 pro or if that's going to be um you know uh if that's gonna be um just standard on, on everything but just look at how that how that has changed they've added in some some grass there the maybe the the does the river look look different i'm not sure if if it if if it entirely looks looks all that different but um it just everything seems to look just a little bit better like especially this look at the uh at, at, at the safe lane here for this orange team just gorgeous and then we go into the um the jungle so this is probably the best snapshot of what of what you get here um and then we can look here so let's let, let's take a let's take a close look here in the jungle you can see that in the safe lane there is um a now kind of like the central round area like the central courtyard here uh which is is different it's more central because remember that, there, that that central area is kind of like divided into two for those two white camps now it's just that is where the amber link is so you can see that is where the amber link is and then all around there are the three white camps and then the green camp kind of close to where it was before the opening for the mid lane it looks like it to be basically in the same spot but um it looks maybe a little bit wider to be honest to be honest um I'm not sure exactly. There's still that little, uh, that's little 
uh, kind of raised area here that is going to be uh, there is no more jump pad so there's no more jump pad but what I'm uh, what I'm assuming that little a uh, raised area is is where the where that jump pad used to be you can still go up there there's just won't be that jump pad so you can just jump jump down in, into the mid lane now you can see that there's kind of like paths there's kind of like paths you can go you can go like right like right this way um you can, and then there's kind of like a circular kind of m design to it and then there's that inner courtyard um that inner courtyard with that amber link so i find this really really interesting it seems like there's a little bit easier you kind of get in and out maybe a little bit easier it seems like it seems like that's kind of i don't know what what they were going for like you can kind of you can get can get in and out e e easier now this raised area as you can see you can take a look here and there's actually a raised area kind of right in front of us so that means like right here there's a real raised area on the back side of the amber link so it's kind of like stairs that go right up here and the amber link is kind of in this little enclosed area which i i i i, I think is actually a really good thing because stealing the amber link Arguably was a little bit too easy before uh, so the, in, instead of the white camp being Instead of the white camp being um, You know in the two white camps being in the middle They've kind of put the amber link in the middle and then kind of split the other white camps uh, One closer to the river and one farther from the river so white camps maybe a little bit harder for the enemy to steal perhaps uh, Actually, no, really, because this white camp has stayed the same, and then this one is kind of in the the one that was kind of where the amber link is now has been moved to where the amber link used to be. So the white camp is more easy to steal, the amber link not so much. I kind of like that to be honest, and the ward placements are going to be really interesting. Um, again, because there is this raised area behind this this uh th this amber link you're going to actually maybe a ward like right up here because then if if there's a ward right up here then that means that it can watch through this whole area here I'm, I'm i'm going to assume i can watch through this whole area up here and see anybody trying to come in steal your green buff or trying to come in to for a gank behind your safe lane something like that so I really like that. Um, it looks really good. The jungle rotation is going to be really interesting now because what you can do is start at this one, get this one, get this one, get the green camp, help help you get this one, come over here, and then and then easily come back, um, easily transition over here to the to the red camp. So. I mean, there, there there could be there could be lots of other things as well. Um, you know, grabbing grabbing this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then going out. So kind of starting here and going uh, counterclockwise. It's 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 it's, it's going to be interesting. You grab three white camps. We usually want to grab two white camps and then the green. So this one, this one, then the green, then finish this one. Grab this one and this one on your way. I don't know. It's it's going to be really interesting. The jungle rotation. Uh, moving through the jungle seems. Seems a lot nicer now, to be honest with you. I really, really, I really like like it. Just preliminary uh, kind of investigation here, and I hope that you guys do too. It's gonna be. It, hopefully, it looks really, really cool. The uh, off lane. Look at the off lane jungle. They've removed that weird uh, wall here. The weird wall. So there's a much op more open area. Although there is kind of a discoloration right in the middle. So maybe that is. Um, maybe that is still. Um, Maybe that is still a thing in there, uh, like like some some stones or something right in there. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna have to see. I don't know what these black things are. The, I mean, the, I'm assuming they didn't change the uh, that little area here, but I didn't maybe even notice those before. So guys, there you go. Um, that is like, look at how gorgeous this is. The trees. I don't think the trees look any different, although the trees going through the wall here, which is. Uh, bit of a problem you got trees going through walls <laughs> epic you got trees going through walls uh but otherwise looks absolutely fantastic um just one more step into becoming a next generation moba a next generation experience that is that is so immersive and a pleasing experience um, I just, I just, I, I, I can't wait. The, you know, all, from all their hero releases, it's just going to be absolutely um, amazing. 
uh, because, guys, I am just so excited. Absolutely so excited for this. So, ladies and gentlemen, please like this video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, and please leave a comment down below what you guys think of this, uh, of these changes. Let me know what you guys think of the, of of Morgash, her abilities, her affinities. I really like her affinities because the the growth leaves some really interesting kind of supporty options in there uh, just for to amplify her utility uh, that she has in, in her kit and kind of her potential getting in there and getting out. But the corruption, ugh, oh, the damage here is gonna be absolutely terrifying so guys please let me know down there what do you guys think about the new jungle pathing i mean obviously we haven't played we haven't kind of gone around and played in it but just preliminary kind of investigation what do you guys think of it or do you guys think it's gonna be good let me know down in the comments and then the graphics oh oh it looks so good please ladies and gentlemen subscribe if you guys find this content um you know, useful or you simply enjoyed it, and please go out there and follow me on Twitch as well. Till next time, like always, steps are mystic and positive. <laughs>